Hi, I've been again. This is going to be part two of Rue's of Rue's whistle song. Um, if you were here for the first part, you should be able to play the entire song with just your right hand. Um, if you can't, go back to it because, well, maybe not. I mean, you can learn the left hand separately too. This is going to be the left hand. All right. First thing you might notice is we've got more notes labeled because the left hand likes to move around quite a lot. Uh, so this method of teaching might be a little bit different than the first one, and I hope you guys bear with me. Seems musical, she does not want to co cooperate. There we go. All right, this is middle C now. So with the left hand, you have a couple of options. You can cross over, or you can kind of stretch and jump. Uh, for example, your first one's going to go from G right here. crossing over because cross over right there. Second one was jumping. Jump from here to here. Uh, you should probably use crossing over if you're a good pianist, but I prefer to jump on this one, uh, especially if you can use the damper pedal, the pedal that kind of connects everything. makes it sound a lot smoother. But it's up to you. I will still just pluck out the notes for you. We're going to have G, D, G, A, B flat, A, B, D. I'm going to do that again with my right hand, just to help show you guys. So I think I've come up with a solution to this. Give me one second. it much better. All right, now you can actually see me play it with my left hand. So, first one. Now, D, D, B flat, B flat, F, B flat, G. This is a bit more complex. your steps up and then do the same thing coming back down. That's going to be helpful. For those three measures alone, entire thing at about half tempo, hoping that you can see the notes. actually a bit more than half tempo is close to the right tempo. 
uh, that was a line and a half. And this may sound kind of weird, but it'll sound a lot better once we can put it with the right hand. The left hand's kind of just a backing, and every now and then takes over the melody. It's hard to tell right now. Now you may notice I just shifted down this entire thing. That's because we dropped an octave. Um, sadly, it's not labeled, so this is C above middle C. This is still middle C right here. C below middle C, sorry. We're gonna go G, D, stable. All right, hope this works. G, the middle C. G, D, G, D, A, D, B flat. D, F, tricky the entire thing. took you to the second page. We'll play that again uh, from, let's go from the start so you get the entire idea. Uh, let's see if I can do this while holding the right camera. I hope you guys aren't getting motion sick.
maybe about three mistakes there, but it was mostly correct. And we keep going. Now we're on the second page. G, D, G, D, A, B, B flat. D, F sharp, E. Wow. E, F sharp, A, D, E, natural, D, F sharp, D, E flat, G, E, B flat, G, E flat, B, e flat, F. natural D. And you come way down here and hit both G's. Okay, well, I'm almost out of time, so I'll do that entire second page left hand the best I can for you. running out of time, so I kind of rushed it towards the end, but that should give you a good idea of how to do the left hand. Uh, note that sometimes you can take the right, the left hand notes with the right hand, and we'll work on that on the next review. Bye!